Alright, well, we'll high roll a shaman this time, surely. I think we might be high rolling. Okay, I think we are... Uh, we do appear to be high rolling. We even have Elven Archer, the best card to ever exist in this game period. Since, I mean, I have the, uh, the scroll though, the dredge may just be worth it anyway. I'll try it, I guess. Take every dredge. I think I want healing, to be honest. I mean, I guess. Just literally every dredge. Huh. But I think I will grab this one. In this deck, I feel like uh, Party Animal's better anyway, so I guess it worked out. I'll grab this both those. Wave is okay. This card's just really good, though. I would like Diver, but you know. I think with all the dredges we have, I just have to take this. Dread's okay, obviously. I mean, these are all good cards. I would pick all three if I could. But I mean, I have a million dredges, so... Grab that. I don't have a lot of evolved stuff, right? So I think I take Hex over the 4-drop. Clownfish is not that bad, actually. I feel like we have enough Murlocs that with dredges to find them and stuff, that Clownfish might actually just be good. Like, I actually think the Clownfish is pretty good. I just think Flame Tongue might just be better. Oh, we have the Poacher. Yeah. Yeah, so it also synergizes with that stuff. Why do I have so much gold? Uh, well, I had like 15,000 more gold before I dumped a bunch of it into Golden Packs. But playing arena is the answer. Yeah, it'd probably be useful to have this. Warmer lock. Need draw, right? Phalag, I mean, we have Flame Tongue, but less party animal. Party animal. Only three activators, though. It's not really enough. <laughs> I literally don't have a single minion that activates Prussians, though. Like that seems that makes it seem so bad. It's just four mana draw to right now. I think I take this then. Impressions yeah, just seem so bad. We can't even high roll. Torgas. Get all of the uh, big guys now. All of a sudden, since I'm gonna pack the house on seven, I mean a good six seems really good. Chisel is so good too though. But I have a good number of twos. I don't have a lot of twos actually. I kind of want this more right now. It's just better card than Senjin. This might even let us get a turn six pack the house. And then Flow Rida or Corporal gives us like a Vizier high roll potential on curve. I don't really need a, a, a real 2-drop, right? Yeah, this probably... It, it literally always draws pack, right? I just don't have that many, like, early overload to actually enable it, so it's, like, a little weird in that way. A lot of times it's not going to be active until after pack the house, at which time the game's probably already over. Why is this card still so common? This is how they do balance now. They, they want a class to be better, and they're like, oh, let's just give them the most broken card we've ever given their class and let them have like three per deck and then that's how we balance our our, our game now that's their uh, balance philosophy actually i can get overload from this too that makes this better too and i can also get the sunken from it can also dredge sometimes i think i'll try it. it's a little bit greedy the yellow we'll probably be fine as long as we draw at least some of our scam but then, you know, we're going to have these weird games where we just don't draw any of it and we lose. 
Yo, BB Rage 69 with the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Welcome back. We have two of our dredges, but none of our scrolls yet. We probably keep scroll in this deck, right? We don't have ones really, so yeah, like we definitely keep this card, I think. Just play our Osharan scroll. It's weird, our Osharan scroll looks like a five mana spell instead that doesn't do anything. In this exact situation. Disaster! It's interesting how even after they changed all the cards to not show the buffs, that one still shows the buff, even though they adjusted it for the new meta. Kind of interesting. Oh, combo. I'm going to have to dredge up a Nosher and Scroll, right? Drink with me, friend. Dude, what the fuck? I think we have problems. Holy mother. Dude, this doesn't even this doesn't even work though. Why are my three best cards all at the bottom? Of course! My four best cards are all at the bottom. Of course! I have three dredges, but my four best cards are at the bottom. So I guess I go for the two, right? I'm not sure. Let me do this first. Jive Insect. I mean... Sure. Now, so like I was playing on dredging this turn, but... I could play Rolling Stone. Wait, if I pull up the Sunken Scroll though, I can still activate Rolling Stone next turn. I could get an extra dredge with cold storage. That that is true. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I should have believed, and now, and now I can get even more dredge. With this cold storage as well. Cold storage on rag seems good. Uh, that it does. Yeah, you can't really do it super quickly, but... It's probably gonna have to be what I do. Well, I can't play the packed house anymore. That might have been a bad idea. Well, surely this lives, and then we go Jive Insect, Cold Storage. Uh, help. Oh, we didn't have Wind Fury. We never miss, right? Let's a roof over this place. 
Hmm. Lethal with Bloodlust and Ragnaros, exactly. Now that we're running out of dredges, we start drawing all of our bad cards. Hm. Rag hits the best target every time. Sounds about right. No! Honestly, just playing double rag is double rag is pretty good. Double trade, double rag, but also custodian. I know both both plays are so good. It's probably the safer play. Honestly, it doesn't even line up that well. I don't know. I'll just go double rag yolo. Did he, he had a 3-6 Hawkshire in hand on turn 3 and he went for the Brewmaster and Outfitter instead? Put your faith in the light. An interesting decision. Okay, with the pack I guess I can do the Altered Chord as well. Yeah, so you would have killed the, uh, you would either killed him or the, uh, Tyrion, that's true. Oh, I actually lose now, nice. <laughs> I'm actually losing. Lethal somehow? Pretty good taunt totem. You know, see, if I lose it, it's probably because I didn't do the double five play that turn. Important to go for the nice uh, stat line. Still pretty hard for him to um, not die. 
That is one of the best cards you could play in this situation. My out is literally Elven Archer. Okay. Looks like I'm here just in time. Do I have to like bloodlust defensively to not die? I'm not even sure if I can if that even lets us not die. I mean we don't win in any case, right? We're alive, technically. The problem is that I don't actually care enough anymore to actually like play properly, so then I, I'll throw games like that. At least our bad cards are on the bomb this time. Surely this will be fine. I might just- my next stream might seriously just be emote only mode the entire stream or something. Because I just need to like... Not... Have input, I think. For a while. Well, that's the thing, Philosopher, is that, like, I would pl I would have a higher average on stream if I just didn't have chat there. You know? No offense to chat, but, like, it it's a detriment. You know?
Is it worth dredging? The thing is, I don't want... I need to have the swash. I think I have to do that, right? Because, like, I need to have the swash. To actually make a Ragnaros next turn. This is really good right now. Yeah. Low rolled like hell, nice. Fury ship puts money in my pocket? Yeah. I mean... If only. Do I still make the rag? So the problem is, is that he just has two jackpot spells. Surely it's fine, right? I need an overload so I can get this rolling too. That's pretty good. Just not, this isn't the greatest board for rag, but yeah, if we just tie roll, then it's good. By Mazin hard removal. Well, it's like there's like mass board clears, right? But yeah. If they use like a mass board clear to kill one rag, you feel pretty decent about it. I need to use the flow rider this turn, right? Party animals, four buffs. I mean I want to play the embers, but this is four buffs, and if I don't do this now. Don't even want to play this because the bottom of your deck sucks. Well, I can pull up a scroll though, right? More random! Four out of five cards in his hand are jackpot cards. Oh, all five of his cards are randomly generated bullshit. Yay! Ah! Random four mana 15-15. With the high odds, then he also has some mass board clear to punish me for the all and I'm forced to do in response to that. Hm. Brilliant. Dude, I actually get like another buff out of here though. I guess I don't have to dredge this turn. I mean, I want to, but I don't have to. I'm just gonna all in and complain when he uh, plays Whirlpool. Only Abyssal Wave. Now Whirlpool doesn't kill... It doesn't silence or anything. Are you asking because it's the same thing? I don't think so because like... The Reborn main doesn't exist until... It actually dies. So... It, like it just... Do it can't die because it doesn't exist yet. As long as I kind of want Bloodlust, but...
I wonder if I should have taken the Bloodlust. Maybe I should have. Because Bloodlust would have been lethal setup, probably, right? Yeah, that because like yeah, bloodlust would have been game over already. However, we have a uh, double rag again. How's that possible, lethal? Hold up. So we set the potential lethal. Do this, and then I think we... Do that. We could totally just die is the problem. Well, I mean, his entire hand is big spells, though. Uh, we died of Pyroblast. Great. Mm -hmm. Only Convoke. Convoke seems to be trolling him pretty hard. Uh, this has only one death rattle, but these have two. Yeah, I could just play Rag. It's the weird thing is that, like... I mean, I could pop this one, but like once I pop these, they just come out with more dudes. I wonder. Really, this is fine, right? Die, yeah, because that's what I thought. Like, they don't actually resolve the death rattles, so you have an increased chance if you play two. I mean, coin scribe in the spirit is really good. Fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still have to do it. Probably just gonna alter chord whatever he plays here. If he plays like a three drop. Oh, that was the best three drop in the game in his situation. Well, I guess now I just flame tongue.
think I'm supposed to preemptively archer, right? Because I mean we're going five we're going five, six, seven at this point. What do we play next turn? Our top deck is what we play. Shellfish Gamer. I think I just played this now. It's a two mana four or five, sort of. The elemental may clean that up. Seven damage going into our two two. Oh, it's kind of rough because, like, um, the thing is, is fire elemental is such a clean answer to the diver. But it's also such a clean answer to this uh, shellfish right now. We'll draw cards, right? So surely we'll... Uh... This thing's even buffed. So surely we'll... I guess I have the fish to counter this anyway, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's painful to let him have this. But... Whatever. You're saying you want to go fish that turn instead? Which would have been the same thing essentially, but you wouldn't give him that trade. Yeah, you, yeah, it's like you could go on fish, fish, three, I guess. Maybe you just don't even play that. Well, no, you would have gone fish, fish. That was probably better actually. You go fish, fish, and then you just. Especially with this, you would have just played these top decks anyway. It probably was better, actually. I don't want to pack the house into this. I'll just play these. We'll order as badly as possible. Intentionally to trigger our opponent. Yeah, everyone gets baited by the uh by the shirt. Or lack of shirt. Fuck me, I guess. We have perfect luck. We never miss a 1 in 4 to uh, lose the game on the spot. That would never happen. Holy shit, I just noticed something. The thing is we have 17 damage, but... We would need a lightning bolt to have lethal. Do we just do it anyway? There's a potential that we can pop this. Or let this pop into a better bloodlust. I probably don't need to bloodlust right now. No, yeah, this card doesn't go phase. <laughs> this would be insane if it went phase. Eh. I 
think this is fine. There's a giant wall of text on Reddit, which is very entertaining to me. Which I cannot read right now, but holy mother of God. He's like Giga dead, right? I'll, I'll just DM you a link. Since I can't read it while I'm streaming, he, he, can, he can give me the uh, summary. I would trade probably if I took damage off board, but it doesn't. Same party ammo? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot that this even was getting buffed too. Yeah, oh baby, a triple! If I bumped last turn, it would have been better with how this worked out. But, yeah. Maybe I should have. I'm not sure if I should have, though. Anyway, I may uh, I may still just do the Flame Tongue here. I don't like how weak I am to Lightning Storm at that play. I should have put this on far right, probably. I'm not sure if I should have done that pre-bump. Maybe I should have. Like that I'm not sure of. Like it would have worked out better in this game, but I'm not sure if that was correct or not. Okay, well technically speaking this worked out in my advantage that I did it the way I did. Kind of. I mean it still wasn't better had I traded though. Honestly, though, getting a totem progressing overload and stuff might be better. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> oh, yeah, bottom feeder. Yeah, we have so many, so many dreads, dredges actually that this might do work. Freaking Melomania. Okay, fire elemental is one play. If I do this, I can always go like double fish to deal with that. 
probably want to take this while I have the discount. I guess. This goes to zero if overloaded. It might make it better than... Well, I mean, it's a one mana hex. I mean, I guess I take that. Um, oh, I didn't even realize that that was activating. I'm like, I stumbled on the correct play then. So yeah, doing this to activate that was definitely right. Yeah. I, th I think my play was still correct without that, but even with that definitely made it the correct play. So I accidentally misplayed, not really misplayed, but correctly played into the even more correct play than I realized at the time. So it turns out I'm a genius. Even when I don't rationally think it through to the right play, I still make the right play. Even if I irrationally come to the right play still the right play. I don't want to use these hexes, but... Uh, it's not really worth... It's just not really worth it right now. I'm going to have to dump one of these, though. I mean, I have to dump this aura hex. Oh, Bloodlust Greetings. Fuck, why does Pack the House have to be down here, too? Why are my best cards all at the bottom again? I think I do want this, so... Because he's played AF fail, and I need to kind of uh, end the game before something bad happens. <laughs> now he has two colossals. Uh, this is this is why I dredged up the bloodlust. We were in danger. Uh, I believe our opponent is the one in danger. He just removed his own taunt. An interesting strategy. We were actually in danger until he removed his own taunt. <laughs> Was convinced Team 5 would queue into your counter if you're on a streak? There's a lot of constructed players that still believe that now. I've heard several constructed streamers spout that conspiracy theory in the last couple months. Several. A lot of people still believe that. The thing that makes that conspiracy fall apart for me is that you understand that like Hearthstone's a symmetric game and the fact that it's like if you're queuing into your counter, someone else is queuing into what they're countering. It's zero sum. It, they can't be fucking everyone simultaneously. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't logically make sense. The other part that doesn't make sense about it, that's actually only the first part that doesn't make sense. Good lord. Um, help. I completely forgot my train of thought. I had a train of thought that was rational. I, I promise it was rational. I completely forgot what my train of thought was though.
Not just the fact that both players in the game can't be getting fucked. Oh yeah, yeah, the other reason was that also... You know, how do they do it exactly? Because they need to have some kind of... A, to, to actually believe that, you would have to believe that they have some kind of advanced AI that knows not just what class you're playing, right? Because, like, they can't really do counters entirely by class because you might be playing, you know, Blood Death Knight or Frost Death Knight or something. And those have very different counters, right? So to believe that the thing was actually fucking you over based off what you're playing, you would have to understand actually what the function of your deck is and what your counters are, which is just something that I don't think Blizzard even has the technology to do, even if they wanted to. So, like... It, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. There are devs sitting there custom matching people into the counters, exactly is. You know, I, I mean, the other thing is, is like, not to shit on other streamers who believe this stuff too much, but like, you know, it just so happens that a lot of the people that very vehemently believe this are all streamers who, you know, when you're a streamer, there's a very, there's a very obvious other explanation for why you might be queuing into your Matt into your counters while streaming way more often than you would expect, right? Like there's another very valid explanation for that. But I don't know if they're in some denial of that. Oh, we fucking lost. <laughs> it must be the devs, exactly, yes. I probably want one of these actually. So do I just play it? Probably, right? YOLO? It's too bad I couldn't just count the pack the house. Kinda sucks that I'm still dead, probably. Maybe I should kill the rush, because they could technically have that legendary. Yes, believe Blizzard about this, they said go buy packs. I believe they would have said go buy runestones though. There's a problem. If I Feral Spirit, I cannot pack the house. And if I pack the house, I cannot Torghask Custodian. So, in other words, no matter what, I'm fucked. Go for Tailwind by evolving this. The problem is that I also... I might have to, yeah, because, like, maybe I deal with this. It's weird it's a really good Feral Spirit, but... I'll try to go for this. 
Let's see what we get. Scrap. I'll go for all the taunts here. Now I don't really have a play next turn is the problem. We'll drop. I mean, unless we drop Hacked House, we'll have a play. I was probably supposed to not play the uh, Feral Spirit, though. I guess. The good thing is, this was a really good one to get because we have all the dredge, obviously, right? So. Real Spirit is getting a lot of uh, value here. And, like, the. Uh, do you believe the Merlocula is going to guarantee we live? It's not exactly what I was looking for. I do have a hex down there. I probably want those. We have three good plays next turn, right? Either Sunken Sentinel or Torghast or Pack the House. He's having a slow turn to set it up, so. Seems rather lovely. Still emptying his hand. Pack the house is a little crazy, right? I think we just play this. Because, I mean, this guy's like hyper aggro. We can very blatantly see that. We don't want to play Pack the House and then possibly die to that board. Oh. Not quite lethal. Close, though. Three off. I mean, those are all good. I think I actually just want the healing, though. Pack the House is such a terrible card show. Two of them in hand, literally unplayable the entire game. Literally garbage. When you have freaking, like, just RNG big cards like Pack the House, like, obvious, like any time Pack the House could just be better just because you high roll it, but it makes it really, like, this card's just really stupid. It's like Overload's already weird enough without having to account for fucking massive RNG, right? That's why they changed the hero power, because people complained about the fact that it was really dumb to have to just think about, like, spell damage totem. And this card's, like, even worse in that way. It's just, it's just shit design, in my opinion. Uh, I 
don't have a lightning storm in this deck, so... I'm against Priest, which makes me not really want it, but it's probably just the best card anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, like... He didn't play a 1-drop, and, like, I can use this as a silence, so I'll grab this. I can, like, I can use this on, like, when he plays the dragon or something, maybe... Since I have two of these, I'll coin them. Otherwise, I wouldn't really want to do this. It's a problem. It's actually an argument for Flow Rider, but... It's a one health two drop. All right, have a good one, Miramides. Appreciate the uh, raid. If you don't know Miramides, check him out. Great arena streamer. Other uh, other new arena streamer. I may actually evolve that. No. Probably worth it. I didn't give myself enough time for this. Okay, I got the flow rider anyway, that's good. We're gonna outvalue this priest. Uh, I mean, that's hard because we're currently down four cards. <laughs> and our deck is probably smaller than his
Oh, did I mention? I said we're down four cards. We're actually down six. My bad. Oh, he's gonna overdraw, right? Oh, he's overdrawing. Cool. There's no shadow secrets, right? I don't think so. Like, none of the rogue secrets are shadow, I don't think. My hand is full. Could be wrong. Shadow clone from Darkman Fair, yeah, yeah, but none of the new ones. None of the current ones. Like pack the house we could also do like everything else basically there's not much as far as like seek spells for my deck i actually want right now Oh, fuck. I'm gonna regret this. Forgot to read. I didn't look at my fucking three drop. I saw this thing. I didn't even notice that this was a fucking card on my board. There's so many stupid, like this was like, this, in my opinion, is probably the dumbest card they've ever made in this entire game, in the entire history of Hearthstone. This is just such a stupid card. Like, just, we'll get the overload card, right? No better. Okay, this could get two done. This is silenced, so... Do I just play this now? Oh. I probably should have done this and this instead, but I didn't realize I would get light at burns. What does this do? Oh, this is pack a house. Nice. Okay.
Pack that's not guaranteed. Yeah, not right now, but this will tutor some of our spells, so we'll probably be we'll probably be able to get it guaranteed eventually. Yeah, it's not guaranteed right now. He's probably gonna give us Viper, right? I don't really care about any of these. Yeah, whatever. Honestly, that would have been pretty good though. That was a zero mana uh, eight ten, I guess. So give us a scroll. It's interesting. I mean, sort of pack the house more likely off of this. If you get an overload off of this, does it still overload you? I don't know how that works. Anyway, I should probably play this this turn though. It still overloads you? Yeah, because it's on the text of the card, right? That would make sense. I guess. It's pretty high odds to hit pack the house if I do it. If we miss, we lose though. It's kind of bad. Man, I don't really have to right now. I think it does. Like, I think when you have something like this, multiple copies does increase the odds. Like, I think you're just as likely to hit each copy, but I'm not. You obviously can't hit the same copy twice, the same card twice, but I think multiple copies do increase your odds. Now it's guaranteed. There are a couple things that were bad about this. I'm playing into certain AoEs, but also playing one pack the house, I might kek my uh the chance I kek this now, but it's probably okay. Those are really shit blood loss. Can't really complain about that. That blood loss prevented lethal? Because he knew I had blood loss? Did he have to do that to prevent lethal? I guess if he had no removal. <laughs> Cold storage on Fizzle. He's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry I think he wasn't five head and didn't real wasn't thinking about the fact that I might have might have had blood loss leave though. So he actually drafted a priest 
So hold up, he had three identity thefts, but he just had no board clears at all. He had a shard of the Nauru. And his entire deck is literally just steal my opponent's deck. Ah. How many fingers do you see? Beast, Murloc, Undead. Wait, is, is this the, the sickest party animal in history? Turn two, Beast, Undead, Murloc, Naga. Holy shit. Party animal, literally the best card in history. Or the top class arena, shaman priest, death knight. You get the he skipped turn two and three. Surely he's dead. I would like to introduce you to the class known as priest, where nothing fucking matters except how much broken shit they drafted. Oh, damn, Suffusion feels really good right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dan Fuller is loving this meta. Yes. How do I talk to Blizzard and ask them? Like, what is the polite way to ask the question? Like, the unfiltered question I want to ask them is, what the fuck? made you do a micro adjust which intentionally put blizzard which inten intentionally put priest on the top of the meta what's the polite way to ask this question this is what i need to figure out boom Take all the trades to play around silence. Where you followed. Flame them on Twitter? No, I have a... There's a Discord in which I can flame them privately. I don't have to flame them on Twitter. Palooza was better. 
Piranha Poacher, carry me! One mana, deal five. I literally haven't played this card yet. Yo, Jack, with the prime sub, appreciate it. I wonder. From Australia, nice, nice. Appreciate the kind words. Now, how do I not lose? All right, well, we'll try to use this to its fullest potential. Maybe. Well, thing I could have actually gone like one, two, you know, I could have played like this as well, and then this would have gone to zero, so I could have played this as well. All right there. Yeah, seems to be working out though. Feral spirit. Just don't want to do this, right? Looks like I could do that, but why? play pack the house next turn I mean I had a pre-stack with that taxation too it's just it's it's just a good card no I think it was like like what hearth arena still has it rated in like 30s but yeah like that accusation is like just one man assassinate it's just it's just a good card <laughs> What's funny is that Priest has so many ways to kill shit that one man assassinate isn't even that good, but yeah, it's it's pretty much just one man assassinate. Oh yeah, spend five mana doing nothing and then have absolutely no fear of anything bad happening because you're a fucking priest. Yay! Rolled pretty well with this too, but now we're fucking dead to uh, harmonic. It's dissonant pop, right? Is the uh... dissonant? That was what I thought. Yeah. I know he has whirlpool too. We require a hex. Scroll could give us hex. We'd probably go for it. Swing and miss. However, this gives us the uh, the other thing. Fire spell damage. So that that works. We're searching for priest emotes. I don't know if I need Gachi Anduin. I'll add this one. This is a one in three for lethal, but this is probably a bet. probably a higher odds for lethal, honestly. Let's 
We're just on priest slaying duty, I guess. You see, my chat learns Stein, that's the thing. Veritas, how you doing? Imagine I should overload while I can. The one problem with pre-bumping, I guess he could have done it. He could have bumped himself anyway, but like, you know, the uh, enrage weapon. It's not the best turn for him to play the enrage weapon though, so. Hmm. Well, that's a good hex, okay. Don't mind if I do. You got six armor, right? Oh, it's a fucking... Oh, I know what it is. It's a fucking riff. Please, not another fucking riff. One. At least that's not another riff. Let's take the draw, right? I want to overload this turn so I can still pack the house on seven. And I may even just overload again. I'll save like a thread on the egg so that it would be set up for Geddon to kill it. Might actually be reasonable. I don't mind that to be honest. We need a Stein emo. Don't we have Monkey You? We still have Monkey You. Stein used to use that emo until he found. Uh, Bigger and better things. And I go I may go command an updraw in here because Yeah, like feels bad to do any other play right now. Is what poacher hero power and then not leave this thing up. Yeah, I don't know. Feels kind of forced. If he plays like another riff here, we're kind of uh fucked, but He has the infuse imbued axe. a giant fucking Ibudox. I have enough health that I should not need to worry too much, right? 
surely. It's a really good one. Okay, that's a really bad one, never mind. Literal garbage. Freaking warrior. Never having spells. I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two sunken scrolls at the bottom. I kind of need to play this Elven Archer to kill this. I think. I kind of need to get damage out of this. That works. This also works. This kind of makes more sense right now. I think. Let's not attack with the wrong minion. Maybe I'm supposed to play the four drop there. Yeah. Why not Baron? Because you die? Definitely a get in play, but it's like you have to use a whole bunch of removal really weirdly. We can also just do other stuff. Ah. We finally entered Death Knight territory, apparently. Yeah, we had to murder all the priests first. My elements are frightful. I kind of like this against Death Knight. I'm actually going to do this because I really want to uh, be able to play the scroll whenever I have free mana. Yes, we'll overload here. Just turn we go three and one, and then I can play. I can go two and one into five next turn if I want to. He's blood though, so we fucking lost basically, because now he's gonna have removal for the rag. Bubbler coming to save the day. 
I should play this while I have taunts up so that it doesn't automatically die, right? You're asking on t when you have three mana, do you play Feral Spirit or Nimbus Scroll? As a general rule, you want to play the less flexible card when you can. So when you have three mana, it's usually good to play the three mana card. That's not always true, but that's generally true. But also because of the overload, we want to get the overload out of the way before it causes us problems. I think. Yeah, he's actually double blood too. Ugh. I may save this then until I can try to hit a better threat. I really want to overload this turn though, so I can still pack on seven. We may just be fucked. Yeah. Bubbly is actually better than the other thing once we trade. Yeah, it's great to say like that's that in in that particular situation like that's a very there's a very clear correct answer essentially which is that yeah you want to do it that way because like you can see you can get the overload out of the way and still have really good follow-up the next turn so that makes it rather good there do it that way where if you do it the other way you probably have problems later on so this will give us something good right surely In cold storage rag, I can also cold storage his guy. Probably rag, right? I have a lot of damage in hand. Not a lot, but a pretty good amount. Veritas is back. All right, we've, we've finally gone back. He's going to start streaming next weekend, right? We got him, boys. We got Veritas back. Why is his wolf right there? Because he wants to hear power. Interesting. I can double trade and pack the house, or I can buy a luminescence geyser geyser. Okay. King Charles gifting a sub to Stein. Appreciate the support. Rag can't be played on eight. Yeah, that's true. I'm not really that bothered by that though. I mean, otherwise, what are you doing with this turn? You're just playing like bioluminescence. Probably could have ordered that better, to be honest, because if we got a rush, I shouldn't have killed the other guy first, so I should have only traded one off before playing it, but... Yeah. We so many minions that, like, he can't even clear us with a, uh... He still can't even clear us with a corpse explosion yet. Because he hasn't really, uh, he hasn't gotten a whole lot of corpses yet. This is five spell damage. It's probably worth it at this point, even though. Because well, like I could also look for something here. I guess I can't use it anyway. I know it's probably worth it. I'm one off, right? I might want you later. Oh wait, I can't. I thought I had one more.
Yeah, I guess I, w I would have had a 50-50, but... I pulled up the Custodian because I thought I was going to dredge twice that turn, but I forgot. Yeah, whatever. Because I would have dredged up the other guy first. So he had the drafted corp explosion, but he wasn't able to recruit corpses the whole game. It's kind of weird. Pay to win Demon Hunter. Where's our party animal? I need party animal at this hand. Yeah, this is one of the better skins they've ever made, probably. Well, I mean, that's a play. Maybe the high, th maybe there might have been. I did this because like I was like maybe I get a three drop elemental, but I was like, yeah, maybe it was a higher chance to actually be able to dredge up a poacher or something. Obviously, I kind of want the dredge for the scrolls or something though. I don't know. Where you followed? This has got to be like on the top of the list of cards that nobody's ever drafted. No one's ever uh, crafted golden. It was like, uh, I think in a wild this card sees play, but like, why would anyone ever craft that card? So like no one's ever seen, like 99% of Hearthstone players have probably never seen the gold animation in this card, period. You must admire it. Found the party animal. It's still three buffs right now. Blue Rider is good, but just later on. Viper may be needed if he has a uh, giant weapon. Just don't know yet. It's just a problem that Blue Rider doesn't do anything until after turn seven. I don't know, because there's honestly arguments for all three of those there. High win Demon Hunter is very likely to have like a uh a seven mana weapon or something. A thirst beyond death. Who's hiding now? He's playing very hard for tempo. Though. Super, super hard. He's playing absolute max tempo here, which he probably wouldn't be if he had that, but you never know. Endless Illidari studies. It's weird because like Flame Reaper you want the egg in the middle but they also have... No they don't have the uh, outcast damage anymore. Yeah I guess like you always want egg in the middle. You ordered those wrong? I guess.
Here's scroll. Drive insect. Guess I'll take that because I don't really need the heal right now. I could play it on the egg right now, but I don't have a good target. I also kind of want to play this. I also don't really want to overload and pack the house, so I guess I will do this instead. These are both generated. That's, I oh know, that's a draw. It's a secret. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Okay. It's really bad that I can't kill the enchanter, but. YOLO? Just don't miss rush. <laughs> oh, he missed rush. Yay. Did high roll this though. What? Holy. An actual Sharknado, yes. Of course it's perjury. Still dying to a bunch of sharks. Which I may have fucked up. It's never Mrs. Rush, right? But this might also miss. So I'd probably go for this. Oh, I missed Rush. Excellent. What do you mean this isn't fine? I could get rag lethal, but I probably shouldn't spend the time thinking about it. I will fight with honor. My 
elements are frightful. Oh wait, this is OP. My only death row is the egg, right? Wait, this card's OP. So I don't understand why they print these kind of cards. They must either, like, when they print these kind of cards, they must either not understand or they actively hate arena players. It's just like, why do you make these cards? Because they literally just exist to make our experience worse. The thing about like playing Vizier this year, I don't even want to play a spell because I want to pack on six. So I probably play just all the stats I can. If I play Party Animal, I can do this with Vizier. I'm losing all my buffs though. So there's a chance I storm instead of playing Pack the House, actually. And fucking, you had to giga high roll that too. I think he's a sniper. I mean, there's a rule in Hearthstone, never accuse someone of sniping when it could be just as easily explained by them having the IQ of a plant. This is this is the rule. If it could just as easily be, excuse, be explained by them being, you know. To them being where you, you're surprised that they have the capacity to breathe, you know? 
then it's probably the more likely outcome. He wouldn't play Iron Storm. You know, you know he played around Storm by trading, right? Are you, are you not aware of that? Like, memes aside, it's like, maybe it's just not clear to everyone, but like, it's like, I mean, he, he was very specifically playing around what we had. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not particularly sus of this guy anyway, but like, I don't know. I, I see so much sus shit that it's just like, I mean, this doesn't even register on the radar, you know? You get sniped all the time when you're not streaming? Exactly. But this is it. Like, I, I mean, I wasn't even, like, particularly sus of that, that opponent, but it's, like... I don't know. It's, like... I really like cold storage, but, like, Chive is... Better meme. I feel like this is probably wrong, but Paparazzi wasn't strong enough, so they gave it an extra three attack. If I had cold storage, I would have been able to cold store his uh, paparazzi, so I guess I just die because I made that choice, maybe. Kind of force. I don't want to do this, but I don't really have a choice. My blood for the Lich King. I think I want to pack the house on seven. I don't know. Can you feel the and the body it's just a stupid game. Ah, 
Even I had the cold storage for the proper odyssey, right? I still would have died immediately. There's nothing you can do. 